been more than two months since I started using a Huntsman Mini. I have always been eyeing for mechanical keyboard before because not only does it look minimal, aesthetic, and very kick like my nature, but also I think it could help increase my productivity since I no longer have to adjust with a different keyboard layout whenever I transition from one PC or laptop to another. I just have to plug it in and I could easily get my hands on the same keyboard and apply the shortcut keys as comfortably as I could. But the problem is, there are a lot of options out there and I do not know which keyboard to choose. Apparently my boyfriend knows me so well and he got this for me last January and I've been using it ever since. And I must say, it doesn't disappoint. Hi there, this is Shara V. Hope you're all doing good. In this video, I'm going to share with you what's in the box and my initial impressions on the Razer Huntsman Mini. Just a disclaimer though, I'm not an expert on keyboards nor on mechanical keyboards to be specific. So I'll be basically sharing with you my thoughts from a typical user's point of view. Inside the box, you'll find a mini pocket which contains the certificate from Razer and the manual of the keyboard. Make sure to open the manual because you'll find awesome stickers from Razer in there. Aside from that, we can see a compartment inside the box which contains the cable wire of the keyboard. Let's get rid of this box for a moment. As you can see, the packaging is really good because the keyboard is still well packed inside a plastic. So let's take it off and there you go. The Huntsman Mini Keyboard is actually comprised of optical purple switches which are light, clicky and very responsive. You may also adjust the height of the keyboard in two different ways. And there are also non-slip pads for the keyboard stability. At the back of the keyboard is where we connect the detachable Type-C cable to the keyboard and the other end to the USB port. The keyboard displays the default lighting setup once connected. Now, let's highlight the keyboard's clicky sounds. The keys have double shot PBD keycap for a texture to finish and they respond to bass from light as they are optical switches. How to set up in Synapse This is important because all keyboard and lighting configuration are done in Synapse 3. But before anything else, you need to create an account in Razer Synapse. But if you already have an account, you can simply log in, otherwise you need to sign up for a new account. You will need to go to Razer.com and download the Synapse application and install it in your local machine. We could skip this for now and let's just wait for the installation process to finish. Then launch Razer Synapse and let's get started. You will end on your dashboard where you can select the recognized device that you want to configure. In the case of Huntsman Mini Keyboard, you will be directed to this page where you can customize the keys based on your own preference. There is a standard set of shortcut keys by default which you can check at the back of the box. Aside from the onboard memory shortcut keys, the box also displays some information about the keyboard that you may want to know quickly. Now going back to Synapse, notice that there are two main tabs in this page and we're currently in Customize. Now let's try to explore on the Lighting tab. The lighting configuration of the keyboard takes place in this page and in here you may adjust the key's backlight brightness and select the kind of lighting effect you want for your keyboard. We have here two categories of effects, Quick and Advanced. The quick effects are basically a pre-configured collection of effects that you can easily select and apply to your keyboard. First on the list is Spectrum Cycling, which is the lighting effect applied in Huntsman Mini by default.
Next, we have ambient awareness. In this effect, whatever displayed on your monitor is basically being extended to the keyboard. That's why it gives you an option to select which part of the keyboard would you like the effect to be applied. I personally find this effect cool and creative, you know, it's just so entertaining and satisfying to watch. Anyway, next we have Audio Mixer. In this effect, the lighting depends on the sounds that your PC produces. Now let's try to play a music. <laughs> this is so cool actually. You can use it in a party, you know, you can feel the vibe from the keyword. But Let's move on. <laughs> Next, we have breathing. In here, you can choose two colors of your choice because in this effect, the keyboard is like literally breathing the colors you've chosen. Alright, for the next effect, we have fire. I actually appreciate this effect the most because it's like there's a real fire beneath your keyboard. And then we have reactive. This effect doesn't only allow you to choose a color, but it also allows you to choose the duration you want for the effect. Because in here, the keys will only light up when you press them. So basically, you're setting how long would you like the light to stay on the key you just pressed. Next is ripple, which from the word itself creates a ripple effect from the key you just pressed. Then we have Starlight. This effect allows you to choose two colors of your choice and the duration of the effect as well. It's so cute, it's like twinkle twinkle little stars. So when we try to make the duration shorter, the Starlight effect may look faster. Now let's go to Static. This effect allows you to choose a single color that you want your keyboard to produce while you're using it. And just look at that transition when you're changing one color to another. It's just so smooth and sweet. Alright, going on, we have Wave. And this allows you to choose a direction for the effect. Either right or left. The next effect is quite similar to that, which is wheel, but this time the direction is either clockwise or counterclockwise. Now let's go to the advanced effects where we could find the Chroma Studio. Basically, we are still configuring the lighting of the keyboard in here, but this time we could have it more personalized as we may specifically assign the keys with a unique color and even create a combination of the quick effects. If you're new and quite overwhelmed in Chroma Studio, well, don't worry because the application offers a guide, a tool that will introduce you to the basic functionalities and tools that you can play around with in the studio. So right now, as you can see, the entire keyboard has that wave effect. So I'm trying to customize some keys and change the color. Personally, we could consider Chroma Studio as a playground where we can just experiment on the colors and lighting that we want to apply in our keyboard. Thank you very much for watching up to this point of the video and if you did enjoy watching the full thing, please don't forget to hit a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. I hope to see you all again on my next videos and as always, please Stay safe.